Oh, my goodness. Um, excuse me, Mr. Mr. Dungeon, uh, Mr. Dungeon Dweller. Someone needs to come in here and clean up their myth because they, they this is a tripping hazard. It's definitely an OSHA violation. We're going to have to you know, cite you because it's going to trip your employees. I realize, of course, that your skeletons and liches won't be be harmed by this since they're immortal. But you know, uh, you know, any werewolves that, 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 that fall on it, that might and vampires could be impaled upon the spikes. So you need to be careful of these things. There were two ancient. Oh my goodness. Two ancient vampires and a ghost. Woo! And a wraith. Let's just load this room up. Holy moly. Whew. Can't carry any more stuff. Oh, no. Biscuit eater. Seriously, let's just. Oh my goodness. Wow, those holy tomes are worth a crap ton, so I definitely want them. Yeah, they're heavy, but... What what on earth is weighing us down so much? We're not actually... Is it just all these ingredients? Oh. <sighs> hmm. You just got the powder quest. <laughs> Dang, you're uh, you're on a roll over there, sir. You're catching up to me quick. Mm. Oh. the heck maybe it was me okay you know what let's just let's just dump some of this junk out I uh, guess I really don't care about all this these are heavy these are super heavy those are relatively light for the no no those are light. Those are those are super light. Whoa. Wow, werewolf's blood is heavy. 21 kilograms of dragon scales? I don't think so. Or what was four kilograms? Fairy dragon scales. Not even worth that much. The dangerous hearts are worth a lot. What's... Those are... What the hell? Two kil kilograms for some branches? I don't think so. Alright, moving on. Got rid of some weight. This was a dead-end room. Great. Okay. We need to find a spellcaster. To shoot us with his spells so we can absorb them and then proceed to kick his butt because that's the way we roll
Wow, we annihilated her. Thanks for the spell point, sir. Time to die now. Form a gold formal cloak. Let's see what this looks like on. This might be kind of neat looking. Let's see. Clothing. And we will temporarily remove this and put on this. Uh, I don't like this look at all. I don't like that kind of cloak. So, no thanks. Give me my gray one black back. Thank you. Holy tomes are so worth it. The rest of that is not. Uh. Holy daggers are also worth it. Red berries, not so much. Hmm. Great. Another dead end. Come on, shoot me with a spell. Come on, you punk. Shoot me with a spell. And that ghost didn't even get a chance to hit me. Or that wraith. Frustrating thing about that. I wish that the developers had uh, made it such that they had like... You could ha get maps to these dungeons that you know, were partial maps and they showed you how to get to where you're supposed to be going at the very least. Because I could be way off on a tangent. Like, it's entirely possible that I, I literally went the wrong direction, that I should have gone this other direction at the beginning. I have no idea how long I could be stuck wandering. I mean, I guess if you're a bad guy, that's kind of what you want, right? You want... <laughs> you want somebody... Um, be stuck wandering your halls forever so you can turn them into necromantic fodder. Uh, but... Wow. Ooh, a lever. It's the first time... Okay, I've come to this.
Oh, I'm so tired of them doing that. Like my least favorite thing in this game. All the enemies want to do is paralyze you. It's interesting that there's a gap. Skills have improved. Critical strike. Man, my stealth is almost 100%. That's crazy. My backstabbing is 25%. Wait, it's a wraith essence. That's light and worth a decent amount. Another lever. Repair your archaeologist damage. <laughs> no worries. I just having you guys here hanging out. Oh my god, this is cool. What is this? This is like, wow. That's a screenshot right there. That's a, that's a screenshot right there. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta take a screenshot. Okay, thank you for your patience, guys. Whoa! Ah, oh, really? Again? I am in uh, the Tomb of Lysandus right now. At least I'm some part of the Tomb of Lysandus. I don't know if this room has any significance or meaning other than being really cool. Because, uh, yeah. It's... Oh, wow, those... This is a neat room, but it, there doesn't appear to be any point to it. So... Gonna see if there's anything up there. Can't quite tell with the studio lights on me. 
uh, unless I get close, which I, I can see now. I don't think there's anything there. So, whew, wow. Okay. Maybe that room will be more significant now that I've done this. Nothing seems to have changed. Oh, that changed. There's a little room here that wasn't here before. Oh, wow, look at that. That's cool. Oh, wow. We found it. Away to my silence goes away before I do anything because because one of those critters silenced me. Whoa, here we go. Excuse me, Mr. Ghost, what did you say? Could you repeat that? I, you were a little muffled there at the end. I literally did not hear what you just said. Uh, my Santa's ghost appeared to me and told me that the only death or humiliation of his murderer, Lord Woodbourne, would lay his soul to rest. Lord Woodbourne is a noble of Wayrest and betrothed to the Princess Ilisana. He has a castle in the wilderness of Wayrest. Ooh. Okay. Wow. All right. This is cool that we found this after eventually... Wow, look at this. This is just so cool. This was a neat dungeon, I have to say. Some of it was kind of windy and mazy and annoying. But wow. <laughs> the payoff was spectacular. Yep. Um, so, thank goodness we did the recall spell.
think how much junk do we have probably not a lot uh, we probably want to go sell off some junk though uh, broken potsherds crunch at her foot a ghostly wail shatters the silence no! Uh, <laughs> I don't know what sort of whale that was. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, <laughs> let's turn off our lantern and uh, quick save that nonsense. And then, where are we at? We're way over there. <laughs> And we are supposed to go to Wayrest. <laughs> Beluga whale. Yeah. Oh, we're like right over by it. That's funny. We could just like walk there. Wayrest. But we want to... Let's... Yeah, let's... Holy crap, we really can just like walk over here. Let's look at only towns. Ashing Hall or Kingham Hall. Sure, Kingham Hall sounds interesting. We will go by foot. Wow, it only has like an inn. That's it. That's okay. That's a little lame. We want to actually sell something. I forgot what the... Duh. It's actually way rest. Right? Way rest. Yep. We'll go over there. Little bit of choppiness as the game loads. There we go. The way rest was always kind of choppy for us anyway. So the champion general store. Let's go straight over there and sell off our loot. And uh, find a place to sell off all, all of our ingredients. As well. Oh, that's that's a general store. That's not a what about this vintage used supplies? Yes, good. That is a pawn shop, which is what we want. Holy dagger. Holy dagger. Oh. Actually gave us a decent amount. That was almost 50%. My torches look better than yours? What do you mean? Well, it's because I don't use a torch, dude. I use a lantern. <laughs> You just have to carry around a carry carry around some oil. It's also it also could be the tw twitch, like the ones on the walls. Oh well, that's probably one of the uh, add-ons that I'm using. I, I, my guess is I'm using an add-on that you're not using. Uh, that's the only thing that I can think of that would make it make them look different No, it's not a specific torch mod per se. It's uh, I think it's just Some sort of like object uh, Better objects mod or I, I don't know. Uh, it's definitely a graphical mod though, obviously um, Tell you what I'm totally cool with just for we, we haven't done a, a main save in a long 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 time So we're gonna go ahead and do that main save. No main save 10 
and then I'll briefly quit and take a look at what mods I have and then you know you can take a look and take a peek and see what potentially uh, I'm using that you are not. Daggerfall Unity. Let's give it a few seconds to unload and everything. So uh, uh, it's funny that you're almost caught up with where I'm at, Brett. That's or maybe more so. I don't know. Um, that's pretty funny though. <laughs> uh, Daggerfall Unity. Start it up again. All right, so coming over to the mods, I have a carry weight customizer because I'm just a loot hound whore. I just, I love carrying, getting lots of loot. I just, uh, and so honestly, uh, I think I made the, uh, I beefed up the amount that we can carry on ourselves by a little bit. I don't think it's a huge amount. I forget what the settings are. Let's see. It doesn't matter. I, I, it's what I use. Convenient clock, which I'm really not sure what it does. Maybe it's this clock that's over in the end. Yeah, that's probably it. But of course, the improved loading screens, Daggerfall Sky Shards, which have been mostly useless, Roleplay Realism, uh, which is, I don't remember what that mod does at all. Distant Train, of course. And the Dream mod has a bunch of neat things. Enhanced Sky, uh, Hand Painted Models. That's maybe, that may be it. Hand Painted Models, Buildings, Main, Treasure Piles. That's got to be it, I think. And then Helmet Swap Dream, Level Up Adjuster, uh, Improved Interior Lighting, NPC Health Indicators, Post Processing, Real Grass, Flat Terrain, Taverns Redone, Dream Patch, and Taverns Redone. And there we go. And back to the grind. <clears throat> Which isn't a grind, it's just fun. It's back to the level up, the looting, the adventuring, the exploring secret, uh, lost secret tombs and civilizations. Your fire still look like the OG version. Ah, yeah, it's gotta be one of these mods that I'm using that you're not, that's all, all it is, I'm sure. But the OG version fires are pretty cool. <clears throat> all right, now we are, We were going to go try and sell off some more stuff, I think, right? Uh, maybe this essential physics will let us sell it, sell uh, ingredients to them. That was the building. It is. Okay. He will buy ingredients. Sweet. All right. Since we're not far from a couple of smiths, we will drop in and see if they have anything worth buying in the armor category. I've gotten too good at that. Ooh, ebony boots. Wait a minute, is that better? Ebony boots are better than our mithril boots. For, for sure we're buying those. Yes, thank you, bye. Wow, that's fine. Uh, 
we want to sell the Mithra Boot? Might as well. Let's identify... Leather Silent Helm. Magic items, Leather Silent Helm. Sell. Yep, that's fine. Wagon. He's got some Iron Greaves of Venom Antidote. See, this is all in my wagon. Steel Long Sword of Iron Will. Eh. I'll keep them. Better keep them out of, out of the hands of the weak or the dangerous. Don't want anybody getting injured. In, 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 in. All right, so now we have done that. Let's actually, maybe we can, whoa. Go straight to this. Castle in the Wilderness Wayrest. Nope. All right. So we're going to have to find it somehow. Hmm. So we know it's a dungeon. Copperfield Vaults. Woodborn, is that the guy's name? Lord Woodborn. Well, there we go. Woodborn Hall. Hey, it's funny, I was mocking these shards and look, there we are. This area looks inhabited. You pass a stack of firewood. <gasps> oh, not a stack of firewood. So intimidating. Never been to a dungeon with a stack of firewood. Dungeon. 